Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and today is November the 1st. I'm going to do your spiritual principle a day in a meditation. I am brought to you by Hope Through Navigation, and this is our Hood Recovery Services. If you need to reach me, do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and get into that meditation. Hope you're having a beautiful morning. Okay, this meditation is entitled, Acceptance Takes Practice. Acceptance is not an all or nothing event, and it doesn't necessarily happen all at once. Bummer, huh? <laughs> That's taken from Living Clean, Chapter One, Growing Pains. We talk about practicing spiritual principles because they take practice. That's certainly true of acceptance. At times, the only thing we fully accept is the fact that we're addicts. On those days, that's good enough. We practice acceptance by not picking up. And if we don't pick up, we won't use. As we grow in recovery, we start to recognize where our acceptance falls short. Sometimes we might acknowledge a problem but not fully accept its implications, especially when a solution requires us to take responsibility and make an effort. For example, we might sense relationship trouble, but may or may not adjust how much time we spend with a partner. Some of us can't accept or even recognize that we've been dishonest until we do a tenth step. The disease calls us to stop writing. Our ability to practice acceptance sometimes wavers depending on who, is, who else is involved. Excuse me. We may be able to accept relapse from others, but not when it's a family member. Maybe we can accept the blunders of newcomers but not those made by old timers. We celebrate the progress we make, no matter how small. Today, I told my boss why I was really late. That was a first or big. The loss of my beloved dog opened the floodgates, allowing me to revisit the grief of other losses and come to new levels of acceptance. As we recover just a little more each day, practicing acceptance pays off. We experience rare and remarkable epiphanies with acceptance and recognize the path it took to get there. We can hear other members' struggles with acceptance and think, yep, they're right where they're supposed to be. Today, I'll look at the conditions I place on acceptance and try to practice this principle more fully. Wow, that's a beautiful meditation. Acceptance is not an all or nothing event and it doesn't necessarily happen all at once. And then they go on to detail that we're practicing spiritual principle, right? Because they take practice. What I'm able to accept on one day is going to vary on a, a different day. And as, as it points out, it might vary depending on who I'm dealing with. I might be able to accept that a newcomer relapse and maybe they keep relapsing. But when it comes to a niece or a nephew or a son or a daughter, I'm, very, I'm less tolerant when it comes to their relapses, you see? And so how can I have acceptance for one but not the other? You know why? Because I'm less invested. My heartstrings are less invested with the newcomer that I barely even know compared to a child that I've raised. So... This is challenging us to grow up in recovery and practice the spiritual principles 
in all of our affairs with everyone that we know. If you would like a, a good just for today to go back to and think about, go to October 25th. It's talking about principles before personalities. And it talks about applying them with everyone, not just with the people that we're okay with, but with everyone. Can you really say that you are able to apply spiritual principles with small issues and big issues equally? One, it would be hard to because they may not require the same application or intensity of application, but they still need to be applied. So today our goal is to look at our own situations, not anyone else's, Look at what we're doing, how we're doing it, and if we are applying spiritual principles and practicing doing so in all of our affairs. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today, and I hope that you will take this meditation uh, seriously, go back through it, and analyze where you're at with acceptance taking practice and how you apply spiritual principles in all your affairs with everyone. I've enjoyed talking to you and I will be talking to you tomorrow.